Now in this final module, I start off with from tkinter import star and then import SQLite 3. Then I define my class app colon. I then create my constructor. We did this before. Define an it. Self master frame equals frame master frame dot pack. So you can see it. And here's some new code right underneath the constructor. When I key in this new code, a equals string var, b equals string var, a1 equals string var, b1 equals string var, and c equals string var. End of the new code. Then right after that, don't key in class app again, of course. Now this is just showing you you're still in the class application definition class app definition. So here was our buttons that we created before. The open button. Here was the create table button. We did this before. Here was the close button from the previous video. It was the close database, pardon me. It was the insert record from the previous video. And it still calls the same function. No changes here. Then there's the list rex or list records button. No changes here. Now, right underneath that, I key in this. Here's some new code. Just above uh, the definitions for the functions, the methods, I have this new code. I create an entry, an entry box, and then text a data entry field. And I'm going to put it on the frame, and I'm going to assign that to the variable a, self.a. And then I'm going to tell a, take your silly self and pack it onto the frame, onto the bottom side. Okay, it's going to do it. Then self.b, you're equal to this. I'm going to create a data entry field, put it on the frame, and that's assigned to self.b. B, take your silly self and pack it onto the frame, onto the bottom side. What puts it beneath this guy? Or it tries to. And next, self.c equals another data entry frame. Because I have ID field, the first name field, and the last name field. So I need three data entry fields. Okay. I'm going to make an entry field, put it on the frame, assign it to C. See? Take your silly self and pack it onto the frame and put it on the bottom. It's the end of our new code. Now, I go back into our functions, our methods, that we defined already in previous videos. In the ouvrir, the open database, uh, the open function, open method, we connect to MadDB. The tabla data method, we create the table. The fermer method, we close the database connection. Now, when we get to insertar, I get new code. The insertar method now changes. I go to a, self.a. Now remember, self.a was assigned to the entry, one of the entry frames. So is self.b and self.c. They're assigned to these data entry fields. Now I say, self.a? Yeah. Uh, you know that uh, data entry field that uh, you represent? Yeah. Go get all the data in there and put that into the variable a1. Okay, he goes and does it. B, yeah. You know that uh, data entry field you're connected to? Yeah. Take your silly self and go get all that data and put it into B1. Okay. And then he goes to C. C, take your silly self, go get all the data in your data entry field, and oops, first, can, first redefine it as an integer, and then assign it to C1. So here's all my data now, A1, B1, and C1. All right. CUR variable? Yeah. Take your silly self and execute this uh, SQL uh, command. What SQL command? Well, insert into the XXX table, specifically into the fields ID for FN and LN, 
uh, uh, the values. And, hmm, what will I put in there? What will I put in there? Notice this is all in double quotes. Double quote. What will I put in there? Question, comma, question, comma, question. Hmm, comma. Oh, I remember. Open parents. C1, comma, A1, comma, B1. I think I have them in the right order. <laughs> It might be C1, B1, and A1. <laughs> That's what you get when you assign them variables, assign your variables letters A and B and C, rather than F for first name, L for last name, and I for ID. Well, I did it. They're pretty, it should be pretty close, I think. <laughs> we'll find out. And uh, so that's the end of the new code. All right, let's go to the next uh, slide. Now, then I go to the list R, uh, the list uh, method. That's fine. No changes from last time. And now the final changes. There's only one more thing I've made a change to. The geometry of this has been changed from 500 times 300 to 700 times 3. And that's due to the entry box lengths. That's it. The rest of this is the next two lines of code, same, same. App equals app root, root dot main loop, end of story. Okay, now, first thing I do is I delete my database now so that I may start anew. So I go to my MadDB database, select it, hit the delete key, say yes, it's gone. Poof, it's gone. Next, I go into my code, source code, I click on run and run module. And whoa, up it comes. Good so far. There they are. Insert records, list records. Good so far. And the three data entry fields. Wow. First thing I do is I click on open the DB. Now, if it's not there, it will create it. If it is there, it will just open it up. Next thing, I create the table. It creates the table because I had just deleted it, so it was gone. So it has to create a table in there. Puts it in there. Next thing, I click on list records, but I have no records in there, so I'm going to get nothing. There we see an empty list. Now, first thing I do is I go over to my data entry fields now, and I key in 101, George, and Bool. I key this in, and then, then I click on the insert record button. Nothing happened. Oh! Now I have to click on the list records button. Here we go. And oh, oh, oh there he is. 101 Bull George goes in. I knew I had those reversed. <laughs> okay. So 101 Bull George. Uh goes in fine. That's one more. Let's do one more record. I key in one oh two Peter and Piper. Key this in. Next, I click on Insert Records. So, 102, Peter Piper just went into the database. Now I click on List Rex, and I get 101, Bull George, and 102, Piper Peter. Wow. This worked. Huh. This worked really well. Wow. Now, don't forget to close your database right here. Click on Close Database. And I don't know if uh, putting all this onto the uh, PowerPoint was super duper helpful to you. I, th I think it was. So, so I put my source code into the description box. And you can use it as you wish. Good luck. This is George Bull.